Raise your hand if you want to serve fast. If you could serve another 10 miles per hour faster, would that help your game? Yes, of course it would. That's the holy grail. So many players want more speed and more power on their serve, and there is an art and a science to being able to do it. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, and I am the founder of Tennis Evolution. I'm a USTA high performance coach and a former top 100 ATP player. Many players refer to me as the serve surgeon because I get my scalpel and I enjoy helping players with their serves, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about how you can improve the speed on your serve, specifically hit that faster serve. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something that's gonna go against the grain. A lot of coaches, a lot of players think they need to use their legs to get more power. We're not gonna focus on that first. We're gonna focus on the upper body. Okay, so if you've been focusing on using your legs to get more power, this video is for you. The reason being is that many players have ineffective or even average ways of moving the arm and the upper body to create power. Now, Andy Roddick, Bob and Mike Bryan, some of the bigger servers in the world, they can serve very, very fast without using their legs. So they will step up to the line and they can actually, I've seen them do this before and they've talked about it before, they will hit serves without using their legs, okay? So the arm is super loose and the ball just pops off the racket. Okay, now, I mishit that one, let me do one more. There we go. So. I'm able to create nice pop on my serve without using legs. Of course I'm gonna use legs to get another 10 or 15% more power on my serve, more speed, hit that serve fast. The problem is that so many of you are not serving correctly with the upper body in the way that the arm moves. Many of you are opening the racket face too early. You're not turning, you're not turning your shoulders, you're just bringing your arms up like this. If anything, you are bringing this, this serving arm up before the tossing arm, so now you have, your tempo is messed up. And so we really need to practice working on our tempo with the upper body first. And one way to do that is just to keep that arm moving in a continuous fashion, a continuous swing, if you will. So you'll notice I go slow to go fast, slow to go fast, okay? That, you can practice that. Many of you are gonna find that you toss the ball and you actually have to wait for it and you lose rhythm. So you really wanna have that toss be pretty low and just work on, work on letting that arm just move. Low toss, let the arm move. Again, you've gotta to get to this position. Many players don't get to this position. Many players have the ineffective grip, the forehand grip or they don't turn enough, or their elbow is low, they're not in that position to be able to throw the ball, okay? So I want you to focus on getting your upper body more coordinated, or I should say your upper body more efficient with how it moves. Yes, power comes from the ground. Yes, power comes from that back leg driving up into the ball. There's no question about it. But if you're not able to throw a ball or serve correctly, you can use all the legs that you want and it's not going to be as effective. So we're flipping it on you here, having you focus on the upper body first. Now, once you get better at that, then you can add the legs. And what I like to do is, again, we don't want an excessive knee bend like this. A lot of players have what's called an S posture. When they bend their legs like this, they're gonna have a curve in the low back, okay? We teach that at Racket Fit in our seminars, how to correct that. So you don't wanna to bend too deep. You wanna start with, a, with a, a minimal knee bend. So as long as this is efficient here, a small knee bend, okay, very relaxed, and I'm just driving off of both legs, okay? So now this is the lower body giving me more, more speed here. You can see it's not a big jump. Most players though, when they go to bend their knees and jump, guess what? They're on their front foot too early and they're not able to push off the back leg. They're not able to use, to load up into their back hip enough. We see this all the time at Racket Fit at our seminars talking about this. If you have a pinpoint stance and you bring this foot up, you still have to make sure you push off of the back leg. 
and you want to make sure again that when you do that you're not squatting like this that you actually get to this position and you're able to drive off of the back leg so with the lower body we want to make sure that we have minimum knee bend at first before we add a little bit more we want to make sure that we drive off the back leg with that lower body with that in the lower body more the back leg is so key many of you struggle with that because you don't have great hip function all right so these are the nuances that you're probably not going to see in too many other places, all right? These are the details, the subtle details where I want you to understand the serve and then you've got to take our courses and learn how to take care of your body and understand how you can use the upper body in sync with the lower body to get your serve to the next level. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on so that you can be updated on all the latest videos. We also have a free gift for you. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video. We're gonna get you the three myths, three myths right here, three myths that most players are falling for when it comes to the serve. We wanna change the way tennis is taught around the world, especially when it comes to the serve. It's so misunderstood. So click that link in the description below to make sure you pick up that free gift so you can learn the three myths along with the solutions that I'm going to give you to help you get to the next level. It's been a pleasure making this video for you today. I want you to serve faster and better, and I hope this video helped you. Thanks for your time today. We'll see you at the next one.